This is Andy Perlwatt for Boxing Social in association with Betfred and I'm joined by Connor Burton over Zoom. Connor, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Uh, it's fight week. Um, um, how are you feeling? Obviously getting ready for Saturday now. Yeah, I can't wait for it, me. Got one last thing to do today and then I relax until Saturday. One last run. I'm done. I'll just wait till fight night. What's the pandemic been like for you, Connor, for someone at such an early stage of their career? Absolutely rubbish. I was, I was supposed to be going to a fourth fight after the third one, but then the court, then, the, then it all hit. And that's gone. So it, it, it hit me pretty bad, to be honest, because uh, we have to stop training for a couple of months. Uh, not really being in the gym. But since but, and I, I was never really disturbed, I still kept in training. Like, both did my own stuff, though, before we got all back into the gym. So I was always still kind of switched on a bit. If it wasn't for the pandemic, Connor, what were your original plans to, to look to progress? Progress. I probably would have been on my, at least, would have been like eight fight, looking at that. I would have been on my like eighth or, well, now would have been on like seven, ninth. So would have still been building up my career. So now looking into Saturday, do you feel more, more of a pressure and beyond Saturday as well to, to kind of try to get out as frequently as possible and to build up some more momentum? Oh, well, I'd like to get out more fighting, yeah. yeah. But other than that, I, I feel fine, mate. Uh, I'm just going there to get a the win, then chill for a couple of days and then get back right back to the training for the next fight. Christian Nevaez, your opponent, come Saturday. What do you know about him? Uh, not much, really. Because uh, I was supposed to be fighting as someone else before, but obviously that guy got COVID, so... It was a quick one, so we got him. Said, uh, got this guy on fire. I went, yeah, yeah, I'll fight him. Meant to be uh, coming over, uh, so man, looking for a good fight. So I said, I'll prove that I'm good enough anyway to beat anyone. So, what again, what's that like after having such a late change in opponent and dealing with that? When I imagine your camp has been, or at least for a couple of weeks, been working around how your original opponent would try to approach a fight, yeah. yeah. Uh, to be honest with you, it's not changed much for me. Uh, my style has not changed. I mean, just all I had to do was, I don't have to change. I don't have to change much for the opponent. All I have to do is just change one little thing, and then everything else stays the same. Game plan still say, still going out there to uh, uh, box like me. So, what should everybody expect from you on Saturday? For those who haven't seen you before, when you step into the ring, what do you bring? Enthusiasm. Uh, um, nice nah, skill. Uh, I like I like to move a lot, so good at moving, and I got power. I know I've got power, so be, it'll be a good mixture. I've obviously spoken to a few of the guys who are on the bill so far um, this week ahead of Saturday, and I've asked for more than ask you yourself as well. What's kind of your goals, your roots in boxing? What where do you see your career going? Going so far from from where I've started. Like started at the bottom of the um, of the pro career, so it's all hard at the start, but slowly work, slowly working up, and hopefully I'll be able to get myself a couple of belts, um, be on the higher stages, be the big crowds, uh, loads of fans and everything. Just uh, and hopefully I'll be world champ at my weight. What's it like training with Pat? Uh, one of the kinds, John. <laughs> yes, he is. Nah, he's good. He's really, he's, he's, he's got a way of getting through, getting through to you, showing you stuff that you never really see. And he helps you make you understand it so you can do it. It's, it's crazy. It's, nah, he's great. He's just he's so intelligent as well when he's telling you something. It's the way, it's the way he can comes across. Like some people think he comes in it's intimidating. Uh, sometimes he can have a laugh. But at the end of the day, he's just there to help you. It's, it's meant. Also, you've got the likes of, you know, Lyndon and Zelfa who are in the camp in camp as well. And they're further along with their careers and where, where they are and what they're aiming for. But what's it like to work alongside people like them? It's good. It's, it's really good. And there's a, when you see them, you're thinking, oh, they must do different training. No, Pat's training us like how he trains them. So we're doing the exact same thing, whatever they do. 
So we're so at the end of the day, we're not missing out. We're we're, we're being trained as world champions from now, not from not not, not just going to start. Well, they are training. Already. So Pat doesn't have his favourites. Oh. <laughs> We like, we like to think that way, yeah. <laughs> uh, kind of just a final one, obviously, with Lyndon. Um, he fought only a couple of weeks ago, was successful, ninth round stopping yeah. injury. A lot of talk now about the potential Anthony Yard rematch. Just your your thoughts, if that one is what's going to happen next, what do we see this time around? Hopefully you'll see a different Lyndon. Like, like the first time he fought Andy Yard, he, he, he was only using his left hand majority of well, Obviously, near enough for the odd fight. <laughs> he's one hand to and beat him. But that yard, he, he, he won't change. His style won't change. He, he's just going to still think he can just walk him down, just throw bombs. Nah. L- Lyndon will approach this one a lot better than what he did. Yeah, this time we'll have two hands. <laughs> <laughs> right, Connor, just final word from yourself ahead of Saturday night. Everybody who's going to go up to watch the show, everybody will catch up on, uh, over kind of social media and what have you. Everyone who's supporting you, following you, what would you like to say to them? Be prepared for some shows. <laughs> right, Connor, oh, I appreciate yeah. your time tonight. Thank you for speaking to Boxing Social. Hey, welcome. <laughs>